Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech, my name is Amata, today is the 10th of April and this time I have some interesting comments for you regarding Windows 10 and the new Windows Store and how it's going to be revamped and this comes from Microsoft's Brandon LeBlanc who actually runs the Windows blog and basically he spoke on how the store is going to be overhauled to welcome you know the unification that's going to be happening as well as apps, games and music and video all in one place across all devices. Now, he had to say, quote, This single store experience will be the one way for apps and games to be discovered, purchased and updated across all of your devices. Now, obviously, the Windows 10 technical preview at the moment includes an early version of the store. And among the features available, you can view your items and, you know, obviously look at them and stuff through Xbox Video. Sorry, if you bought it for Xbox Video, you can view it on Xbox Windows 10, basically. So if you bought it through non-Windows services, you can view them here. So, what else did he have to say? He had to say, quote, If you are like me and have already accumulated a massive digital collection in Xbox Video, your collection will appear in the Video Preview app and you can begin watching your favourite previously purchased movies and TV shows from your collection. You will still have access to them on all other Windows devices and your Xbox One. Now, he didn't mention it applying to games as such but of course we do have some comments from Phil Spencer previously which basically said that it is possible but of course it's down to the developers to actually enable that and obviously Phil Spencer said quote we're the platform we will enable what publishers want to do with their content I'm not giving anybody's content away to somebody else that's not our role but how you end up with the game on both platforms is going to be dependent on who's selling the game so obviously the capability for it to be the same across games, like if you purchase a game on Xbox One, you get it on Windows 10, etc, 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 or whatever. Um, the cross-platform and also cross-purchase capabilities, we've all heard much about that regarding Windows 10. The capability is all there, but of course, as Phil Spencer said, it's all down to the developers. But it sounds like that's definitely going to apply to the store as well. So this whole theme is definitely running deep through Windows 10, and if you bought something on Xbox Video or what have you, you can still view it. And they're definitely going to be this whole, going for, sorry, this whole unified feel across the whole operating system, which is quite nice. Now, the full post that he actually made is quite long. I will link it in the description below this video. I've covered what I like to call the, you know, the, the best bits, the hot tips or whatever. But if you want to read it, it is there for your perusal. So do check it out if you're interested. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.